All right, what up, what up, what up, everybody? It's Colton Nerdycore, back in with another collection video. Uh, just two things before we start, though. I'd like to I'd like to wish everybody a happy holidays and Merry Christmas, and uh, thank you guys for a great 2018. Um, and the second thing is that I'm gonna be re releasing two pickup videos really close and back to back. Uh, this one's gonna be all my stuff before uh, Christmas, so in between the time. I think it was October when my last one was, and the time that Christmas is, and Boxing Day, because I'm I'm planning to pick up a lot of stuff on Boxing Day, so I want to do a whole collection pickup video on the stuff I picked up over the holidays. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so first up is my only movie pickup, and that is uh, Friday the 13th, it's the 8 movie collection. Uh, so this one comes with all of them up till uh, Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, the Friday the 13th are great movies. They're really cheesy, um, especially the first couple of ones. They always follow the same format of, like, the counselors come to the uh, lake for whatever reason. Uh, there's always, like, the hot girl, the jock, the the druggy, the artsy or emo kid, and then they all get knocked off in order type thing. But they're, they're just a lot of fun to watch. And I was looking, and that was like uh, 20, 25 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. Alright, so next up we have my only Switch pickup for this collection video, and that is Super Smash Bros. Uh, Super Smash Bros. is one of the games I was specifically waiting for to come out uh, for the Switch. It was this, Bayonetta, and Mario Tennis that really sold me on getting a Switch. Uh, and then eventually Fire Emblem Heroes, which uh, Warriors, which is a great game as well. Uh, so this one, what they switched up in this is that every single character map that has ever been in Smash Bros, along with some new characters like Splatoon, uh, Inkling, and there's a uh, Wolf from Fox, and a couple others, uh, they added them all into this game. And the main thing is they created an adventure mode. So there's this, uh, it's like a story mode where you go around, you start off uh, with just uh, Kirby, but you go around on the board, and you collect different fighters by beating them, and you collect different spirits. Which spirits are like characters from each of the series that are used in the game, and they're used as kind of like a, a secondary like power source, and they give you certain abilities and have certain power levels, and you level them up throughout the thing. It really adds a different element that they've never had in Smash Bros. And there's still like the classic like arcade style ladders and stuff like that, which are always my favorite. All right, so next up we have a couple of PlayStation Vita pickups. Uh, the first one was Mod Nation Racers. Uh, this is one that I was looking for for a while because I was a big fan of the Sonic All-Star Racing uh, games that were on the PlayStation Vita. And I, I was looking for another kart racer because racing games play really well on the Vita, uh, the ones I've played at least. And this one's actually pretty good. Uh, the main thing that sets this apart from a lot of other racers is the customization. So you can like fully customize a bunch of different car bodies. You can have different paid jobs on them, you can customize your little dude, and you can create your own tracks. So all that's really fun. The racing's actually pretty good. It seems a little laggier than the um, the Sonic racing, at least, for the console, but it, it's still not a bad game. And I got that one for like 15 bucks at uh, EB Games. And the Smash Bros. I obviously got full price. I, I pre-ordered that one. Alright, so next up, in probably terms of collector value, is probably my best find uh, since the last video. Uh, this is Virtual Tennis 4. I actually found this yesterday at an EB Games. It was in their, um, their Clear Not All Their Vita games, and this was one of the ones in there. I got it for 15 bucks. Uh, this one usually sells for roughly around like 30 to $40 on eBay, at least Canadian. So this was actually a really good find. I'm actually really interested in actually playing this one. I played a lot of uh, Top Spin on the original Xbox, so I'm interested to see like how the tennis games have evolved and if they're still fun to play, because uh, Top Spin was a lot of fun, actually. Alright, so next up is my only PlayStation 3 game uh, for this video, and that is Persona 4 Arena. So these ones are a fighting version of Persona 4 and 3, so it has some of the main characters for Persona 4 and 3. So you'll have like Chie, um, Yukiko, and Naoto from Persona 4, and the other guys from Persona 3. I haven't played Persona 3 yet. It's a game I'm looking to pick up, though. Um, so this one's made by Atlas. Uh, Atlas always makes great games. 
Uh, these fighting games are really fun. I haven't played this one yet, personally, but I'm really looking forward to get into it. It's like a 2D um, sprite, like, anime-style fighting game, so I'm hoping it plays a little bit like Blaze Blue because I'm a big Blaze Blue fan, so... At least story-wise, I won't be disappointed in this because apparently it picks up right after Persona 4, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And I got this one for like uh, 20 bucks. All right, so next up we're getting into my PS4 uh, pickups. So first up we had Soul Calibur 6. This is one I pre-ordered, so I paid full price for this. Uh, this was one I was waiting for for a little while because uh, I was big into Soul Calibur 5 when it came out. I played the online a lot. And this one's pretty good. Uh, it plays exactly like any other Soul Calibur game. Except they added uh, easier to do um, special moves and uh, your like whatever ultimate. I, I don't I don't remember what the uh, like ultimate ability is called in this game, but there's still the really good customization for your fighters. Uh, it's still the same like ring out 3D uh, plane fighting system, and they added uh, two different story modes. So there's the main story mode where you follow all the different characters that are in the game, and where you can use your own created character to kind of do this big map story thing and that that mode's a lot of fun it, it's really interesting actually all right so next up is mg live 19. Uh, if you watch my ps4 collection video you know i usually get the basketball games i have like uh 2k 16 live 17 18 or just live 18 i can't remember uh but i really wanted to pick this one up because i i really needed a basketball game to play and uh, this game's not too bad. Uh, I think it's definitely a step back in terms of like the ultimate team and stuff like that, if any of you play that. Um, I think that mode got a little bit worse because it's so hard to get uh, cards without buying packs. But um, they had this really cool mode called Street Mode, where you basically take this uh, group of players that you recruit throughout the mode, and you play different... Uh, locations around the world so you play in like france uh some of the famous courts in like chicago or new york uh there's one replay in brazil and stuff like that so it, it's a really interesting mode uh that game's not too bad i got it uh, on sale for like i think it was 40 bucks all right so next up is far cry 5 this is one actually a lot of people have suggested to me pick up and one i was actually interested in when it came out this is when I was just specifically waiting for a drop in price uh, because I was worried it was going to be a lot like uh, Far Cry 4 because Far Cry 4 was literally just a copy and paste of Far Cry 3 uh, just with a different bad guy you kill. This one was actually really good. Uh, they actually improved a lot on uh, Far Cry 3 and 4. Uh, the story is actually really interesting. There's a lot of cool side characters and side quests in this game, which I think is the biggest draw to this game. Uh, the map's huge. There's a lot to do on the map. Uh, the the like slowly um, working your way through each of the people's regions who have different um, personalities. There's different uh, vibes throughout the region. Uh, the coolest one was Face with like she does like this um, this drug stuff called the Bliss. So your character got like like all like high and loopy throughout certain parts, and it was very it was a very trippy area. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, the father is a really interesting character, and this whole like cult thing is a really interesting character. And I honestly didn't expect the ending that they went for in this game, so it was actually really good. And I got that one on sale. I think I got it for thirty nine uh, ninety nine, so it'd be like forty five bucks. All right, so that concludes my pickup video. Not too many uh, since October, but I've been picking up a couple. Uh, Boxing Day and uh, Christmas should really pick up the amount of pickups I get. Uh, I'm really looking for a bunch of PS4 games that are on sale and probably some Blu-rays. Boxing Day is usually a very good time to get Blu-rays, um, so that'll be something I'm looking out for. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching. Again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Uh, and remember, everybody has some nerdiness at their core.